All right, so let's head over here and drop off the uh, ink ribbons, because we don't need them anymore. And, uh, oh, oops. Let me get rid of this key, too. We don't need the sword key. The only door left that's with the sword key. Oh, my God! All right, before we talk about that, let's go ahead and take our bets. Am I going to get hit by Lisa Trevor? Let's see. I have a, let's, let me, uh, let's place our bets, but let me mention this to you. I'm terrible. So here we go. Here we go. She's probably gonna fuck me up. I always have a hard time dodging her, man. It's so bad. Alright, here we go. Oh, fuck, I choked. Damn it! Alright, back what I was saying. It was best to get rid of the sword key. Because the sword key, we do not need any longer. The last door left to unlock the sword key that we need to unlock is the uh, kitchen area, which uh, we needed to only go there as Chris. We don't need to go there as Jill until later on in the game after we head back to the mansion before the yawn fight. Oh my god! Blah. That zombie was like, Jill, baby, I told you that if I ever met you in a dark alleyway, it would be... Blah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head on back. Now that we have the crank, we can go and clear the pool. Or the fountain, or whatever the fuck it is. Let's just go and head on over there. Um, I'm warning you guys right now, there might be a tiny bit of slowdown on certain parts. Because these files are giant. And it literally ate apart my terabyte. My terabyte. My terabyte hard drive. Um, so I had, I'm recording directly to an external so that my computer doesn't implode with memory loss. So, um, I've noticed that sometimes when I record, um, directly to an external, the frame rate gets janky every once in a while, so I apologize for that, but let's go ahead and head right on through here. We have to dodge a few dogs. You my dog? Hell no. Fuck the dogs. Fuck the Knicks. Nope, shut up, Brad. We got work to do. So I'm going to grab these because I have a very bad track record with uh, getting past these snakes that we're going to come across very soon. Um, I always tend to get bit by them and get poisoned because I have very bad luck. The worst of the luck. Alright, so we just head right over here. Now this part's actually not too bad. Um, I only have one horrible horror story about this area in the game that I'll tell you about when the the time is more appropriate. But for right now, this is probably going to be the easiest section of the game for right now. Especially when you're Jill. You don't really have to worry about knifing anything. But we're going to go ahead and head down here. It isn't until we get back to the mansion is when we're going to have to kick it into Sunset Ogre Drive. Get it? Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, right here is where those fucking snakes are that I told you about earlier. They don't drop down until you come back through this area. And uh, there's like a small percentage that you'll get poison. But for some reason, when it comes to me, it's 110% every fucking time, pretty much. Alright, so we're going to make a... Is it a left? Go straight this way. I usually make the mistake of going down where the battery is, but... We don't have the battery, so there's no point being there. And we got a red herb right here. We can mix it with the blue and the green and make us a super mixed herb. But we're going to do that once we get inside because there are some snakes out here. Yawn is like, attack my babies. Oh yeah. Attack. Fuck you, Yawn. It'll be your time soon, you bitch ass snake. It'll be your time soon. So I really like this camera angle. It's like, oh, Jillian. Alright, so we're going to make our first stop into the save room right quick, which I actually, you don't even really have to come in here right now. I'm just so muscle memory to come here, but uh, there should be an ink ribbon and a taser battery that we don't need, but we need to drop off this crank. We do not need it again, and we need to drop these ink ribbons off. The reason why I said that there was no reason in coming here first is because what I'm where I'm going to go, we actually have to come back to the save room. You don't have to, but... I like coming back. But uh, before we go into the room that we need to go into, we're going to push this box over this hole 
because we need to conserve as much health as we can. And it is not cool. I spit in the face of people will be cool when this thing be fucking trying to choke you. So big, big tip. Big tips for big nips. Now we gotta go in here and deal with uh, the, the spider pack and get our book. That's a big fucking spider. So we got a green herb here. There's also a green herb on the opposite side of the room, but we will get that on our way out. For right now, we need to grab the red book. Yes, and we need to grab the health spray here. You're going to want to collect as much health as you can, because you're going to need it. So let's go ahead and get... That spider just shit his pants? Was he brewing up? I want no damn wine. What's wrong with you, Jill? I love it when they look at you like, what? Instead of just fucking spitting at you, spitting game at you. That's what they do to Jill. Those spiders just be spitting at game. So yeah, I like to go back to the save room and drop off the health. Even though it doesn't really matter, but I like having the maximum amount of uh, spots. There we go. No, no, we need the red book. I don't know why I put that in there. It's probably... Yeah, it's fucking up. My bad. We're supposed to put the first aid away, not the book. Alright, so let's go head to the other side of this crab shack. So we can go get us some uh, crawfish and some shrimps. Scrimps, I don't know. Let's go. We need to go surprise Barry. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So Barry's going to be sitting here talking to himself, and then we got a bus in here. So inside here, we have to grab a key. It's just a lot of running around, like just back and forth, back and forth. They couldn't just, like, shit. So we got to go in the bathroom and get the key. But I want to push this out of the way. I would recommend that you push these out of the way first. Because when you come back in this room, there's going to be a zombie that's going to be a big pain in the ass in this room. And it's best that you, uh have that area open so you can go straight through there without having to deal with the zombie but as soon as I come in here you're gonna hear the zombie come inside watch like listen shh, 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 listen hold on you'll hear it you heard it fucking zombies walking in going honey I'm home you know just walking all up in the spot like I didn't fucking hear you shambling baby but we don't have to deal with him right now. We need to take this key and head back to where the save room is and open the opposite room inside of there in which we'll find another key that we have to bring down into the uh, the water tank. Which is, you know, how I was explaining before that a lot of this game has a lot of uh, just running back and forward, especially this part. It's a lot of just running back and forward. Alright, so let's climb up here so we don't get choked out. Excuse me. There we go. I was looking for the door. I was like, where the fuck is the door? So in here, we're going to find the the uh, like the lab key or some kind of key. can't remember what it's called. Tank key. Big ass booty key. Let's go ahead and drain this dirty ass bathtub. And then all shit's going to start popping off. Yep, so the guy that hung himself in the room fell and came to life. And this guy, nope, we're going to lock you in the bathroom. So you can sit here and think about it for the rest of your life or what you did. So the good thing is that we didn't go. If we continued in this room, we would have found the self-defense pistol. Which we could use against Yawn in a normal playthrough. But we don't need, where we're going, we don't need guns. So now we need to run all the way back to that room that we were just in. To go down into the, uh, the, uh, the tank. Or whatever the fuck, where the where the sharks is at, you know, baby Sea World. I mean, more more dangerous Sea World. But there's now a zombie in that room that we're gonna have to dodge like two or three times because we have to go in and out of this room a couple times. But he's no problem. We can get around him. It's a little bit of a tight spot, but with a little bit of willpower and the the ability to believe. Oh, fuck! Teleporting ass chump! How the hell you bite me from behind? 
I know, because I am the special, and I will bite you. <laughs> All right, you better be glad I can't blow your fucking head off. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is getting a little saucy. So we need to push these boxes over here. Pretty simple puzzle. Just gotta surprise Jill can move these damn things. I'm surprised Chris can't just flex at him. Call it a day. We got one in there. It's like dropping turds. Okay, so we gotta put another one now. So it's like dropping dookies, look, it's like... Bloop! We gotta go for turn three! It's gonna be a splasher! Oh, we got it. I'm gonna push it over. Yeah, these, these video files are giant, dude. It's like fucking four or five hundred gigs a session. No, keep pushing. What are you doing? It's a splash! Whoop. Oh, man, it got on my leg. Okay, so let's get this green herb. Because we're at caution, we might as well, you know, take this. Why not? Get us back up to fine. Fine like wine. You know it, Jill. <laughs> Isn't it funny? You know you're suave as fuck if the menu tells you how you look. And fine like wine. <laughs> Get it? Cause she's fine. Fine as hell. Just saying. So, uh... These sharks are kind of annoying, but they're not too bad. They're only annoying when they hold you in place. There was one time that I'm gonna tell you I had to record this session, this part, twice. Well, no, I didn't record it, I take that back. I had to record it once during my practice session. I got fucked up. You know how it starts playing the, the scary music? Because if you're in the area too long, you'll just get gobbled up by Neptune. And those fucking sharks kept taking turns and grabbing and biting my ankles and holding me in place. And then I got fucked up by Neptune. And then the second time I had to do this shit, was uh, I tried to do some sort of like, I don't know, I was trying to run around Neptune and I got, I paid for it and got eaten, so, no big deal. We're good. Alright, so let's go ahead and press this button so that, what? Emergency, emergency, unknown source of pressure detected. Unknown source of Locking pressure. all doors to achieve maximum safety. I love how it's like trying to get maximum safety, but... You gotta press all these buttons and shit so you don't die. So we gotta press this so that it could not work. Oh no, the Dutch Shredders! <coughs> Excuse me. The Dutch Shredders! So if I remember correctly, I think it was three. There we go. Yep. So now we got. Oh shit, wrong button. Oh no, we gotta press the safety off first. There, hold on, wait. There we go. Release the Kraken. So now we gotta pull down the blast doors, windows, whatever the hell you wanna call it. And then we can drain them. Suck on that, you fish filleted fucks. Alright, so now we gotta make our way upstairs and we have to go grab this other key that's gonna bring us back into the little cabin out there. Head this way. There's usually shotgun shells and magnum shells laying around this area, but since we don't need them, we don't need to stop. Alright, so we have the worm packs here. What's up, flounder? Go fuck yourself. Hope it burns. We need to get around Neptune's big ass. Yeah, this was the other time that I... Alright. Yep. 